Hello and welcome to my Ultima 4 playthrough here. And uh, we're gonna we're right here at Serpent's Castle. We can see it on the map center at the bottom, and we're gonna skirt around to the west and get up to Scarbray and buy some food, and then uh, we're gonna shoot across the map uh, to the west to make it over to the Lord British's castle. At least that was my plan. This was pre-recorded video, and uh, I was only recording it. I was going my intention was to do this off cam, and and I was only recording it just in case something happened that that I wanted to to record. And so we're, as you can see, we're fighting a few things, we're making that sale, and then this happened. So here we are. We are in Lock Lake. Uh, I, I, it's kind of sad that I didn't didn't have the microphone hooked up. I was recording that, but I didn't have the microphone hooked up, and uh, because boy, I probably squealed like a kid getting a puppy for Christmas when I saw that whirlpool. So let's investigate this and see what there is to see. There's a town here we know, and um, yeah, I do want to I do want to do a location. So let's do that real quick. We're at E and H. If we look at the map, we can see that uh, E and H is right in the middle of Lock Lake, right where we're supposed to be. So that's cool. That's good news. That's good news. All right. So let's see what there is to see. We already see that there are orcs. Um, I don't know that I really want to fuss with at this point. You'll notice our ship uh, took damage. It went down to 40. Just the the whirlpool. It kind of acted like it, it hit all of us, but I don't think it did. There we go. I'm gone. We're, we're doing good on gold right now. All right, let's see what we got here. Well, let's just, before we go down that river, let's just kind of go around the... I think we've been... Because we can get to, to most of this. Yeah, from, from the edge there. Yeah, we've been there. Um... And that just takes us back over there. I don't know that we've been down this. We've got a couple different, couple different um, rivers to go down here that we can actually go down from this from this direction. Um, I really don't want to fight these guys just because. We've got the mystic weapons. Oh my god. And they're a pain in the butt. Oh, that's easy. They're, they're, I forgot what a pain in the butt it was doing combat on the ship with melee weapons. It's, it's rather... So right now my only melee option is, is fireballs. And... So I've been arranged, sorry, not melee. So I've been using those a little bit. Just because like with this guy here, he's not moving where uh, Dupree can whack him with his mystic sword. But at the same time, I think, um, I think I'm fairly um, reluctant. Come on, quit shooting him and get someplace where we can hit you back. Or do I just need to do another fireball? There we go. I'm reluctant to get rid of to get rid of the or or to to swap out the mystic weapons because my fear is is that if we end up um Oh, I got a face right away. If we end up dying again on the on a ship, which you know, knowing me is probably some degree of likely. Um, are we going to lose those? I mean, because usually we lose anything we have in our inventory. 
that's not uh, so this is a shrine I mean, we've done all the shrines we can't get there via ship anyway that's I forget what shrine that is and there is our village okay so now that we've seen that seen where it is can't turn up there I want to go down this other river real quick and see what's up there Come on, buddy. There you go. So yeah, I'm fr I'm afraid because the one thing I learned about the mystic the mystic weapons and the mystic armor is that when we get to the abyss, um, those are the only weapons that are going to function. So not only is it great because they're they're basically one shots. Okay, I know where this is. Yeah. All right. So. You know, we, we they have a specific purpose that we need them for in the end game, and so I'm I'm afraid if we stop using them to give you know maybe the people that I was talking about maybe giving the people at the back um, uh, you know ranged weapons again. If we keep if we quit using them, I'm afraid we're going to die on a on a ship at some point. We're going to lose those weapons. I don't know if that's the case. But uh, that is my fear. All right. As far as I know, I mean, we've been all over this map. This should be the last village of this uh, this game. So let's um, get to the notes. And I don't know the name of this village yet, so I'm just going to add... So this is going to be, we're at F, K, and that's easy, I, I. Okay, and now I'll record the name of it once we, we pop in and uh, we're told the name. But let's enter this village and see what it's got to tell us. Cove is the name of the village. All right, let's see what we got here. Actually, let's while we're while we're here, let's let's pop back to the notes because we have some things we need to be looking for here in Lock Lake. Um, I thought that navigation magic for reagents. I thought we had th I thought we had things to do for the Lock Lake. Have I like lost my mind? Moonclaw, Yalom, Riddles, Dungeons, not that. Places. Okay, here we go. The candle of love is here. Oh, that's right. I created a whole new. I created a whole page just for Lock Lake. Um, a word of passage is needed at the at the um, last gate. So Zaire the wise and paused to see his brother beyond Lock Lake. I don't know what that means. Um, and then uh, Mentorian could give us the gate travel spell. So that is something I am most definitely interested in. But let's uh, begin our exploration of this town. All right. Hello, sir. My name is Gizmo. What's yours? Frontis. Okay. He's probably the welcome dude. Welcome to Cove, the hidden city of wisdom. Interesting. Hey, because we've got... You know, we got the eight attributes. We've got, um, we've got the three main principles of trust, trust, lo tr wow, truth, love, and courage. But uh, yeah, I think this might be the first time wisdom has been mentioned. Herein is found much wisdom and peace. Peace. Find peace in our shrine. They have their own shrine? Seriously? They have their own shrine? 
my mind is is just a, a wee bit blown here, I think, right now. Okay, well, do tell me about your shrine. You can't help me with that. Well, you've given me a lot of good information. A lot of good information. Okay, let's go through. Oh, so this is like a little island. A little island town. Brother Zair! Okay, so we just saw... See his brother beyond Lock Lake to find out about the word of passage. All right. But let's see what his tree is. I sit and watch the river. River, it flows endlessly. Agree? Sure. Most rivers do. Otherwise, they're just drying up. Good. Uh, word? The kings of the castles, which represent the three principles of virtue, each know but one syllable of the word of passage. Okay. So. The kings... of the castles no but one word one syllable of the word of passage Okay. I'm curious if this guy, you know, because one of the things is like, okay, so that's great. But who's going to tell me the order <laughs> once we get the three syllables? Uh, passage. If I could type properly. The kings. Let's see, kings. Kings of the castles represent, th which represent the three principles of virtue, each know but one syllable of the word of passage. Okay, so that's all we're going to get out of him. Hmm. Uh, hmm. All right. Well, that's interesting. That means we got to go back to all of the castles. <laughs> we got to go back through. All right. Uh, I don't really want to go around the edge of the town. There's a mage over there. Where were you hiding before, sir? Let me talk to you. Mentorian. This is the guy that's supposed to tell us the gate travel spell. I, I feel like I'm seeing prophecy <laughs> fulfilled in front of my eyes because we've been having... All of these things, so it's like, you need to talk to them. You need to, you know, and get this. And I've been trying to get here. I did have somebody that suggested another way of getting here, and that is to try to use a blink spell. And I was actually going to try that. I, I actually was looking at the comments, and I don't remember who suggested it. I couldn't find that comment again. Um, I thought that was a great idea. And I was like, oh, yeah, but... Then I found the whirlpool, so so uh, we didn't need to use it. But that was that was something I thought sounded like an interesting uh, possibility. All right, let's let's ask him about his job. I study the magical arts. Magical arts. There is truth in magic. No, I do not disagree. I kind of hate the double negative. <laughs> Good. All right. Since thou dost bear the onk, or at least I did, I shall tell thee a gate spell requires ash, pearl, and mandrake root. Oh, my bloody heck. All right. Magic, magic, magic. Sp 
spells. Gate travel. I can get rid of that. And so we need Sulfur Sash. We need Pearl. So that's Black Pearl. And Mandrake Root. Yeah. So I, I want this spell. Another reason to go track down Mandrake Root. Another reason. Like I needed another one. Okay. I guess that's what we need to hear from you, sir. Thank you so much. All right. Let's go down here. Oh. You meet a tall mage. What's your name? So he says, I am shaman. What's your job? I study the one thing that is the secret to the codex. Okay, I, I already feel a note-taking session coming on here. Man, this is this place is like chock full of great information. The one thing. I wonder why one is in quotes. I study of the Kotex, Codex. Codex. The one pure axiom is more endless than the changing tides, more eternal than day and night. Oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> we got a riddle. Seriously? All right. Uh, notes. I actually have a page for riddles. So this is, I forget what his name was. I'll, to, I'll ask him again. But um, we're in Cove. And he says, his little riddle, riddle thing is, there is he says there no the the one pure axiom than day and night Okay, I haven't the foggiest clue what that means. Axiom. Secret, because he said secret in his first thing. Uh, job. I study the one thing that is the secret of the codex. And what's your name again? Shaman. Okay. Another one of these guys that his 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 job is his name. In all honesty, I don't know how this guy could be more more opaque. <laughs> all right, let's talk to a fair sorceress. What's your name? I am Charm. Interesting. What's your job? I pondered. Th oh. I ponder the key to the axiom. Oh, okay. So maybe when I talk to all four of these people, maybe I'll learn what the axiom is. <laughs> yeah, I got that the first time, that it's the key to the axiom. What is the key? Oh, dear. What was her name? Charm. I mean, I don't know that that this is. I, I you know, I'm putting this in the riddle section because I think this is a a four part riddle here. Is what I'm thinking is it's going to be to the one pure.
And I think this is going to be um, re- referencing back to, oh, wait a minute, where am I? This is the land of wisdom and peace. So the key is probably going to be wisdom or peace. I was thinking of the of the three principles that we have here, the um, truth, love, courage. That's what I was thinking. But now I'm, I'm thinking that that may not be the case. All right. You have anything for pure? I think that's all I'm going to get out of you. Let's talk to this guy. Just continue our way down. Cersei. Cersei, Cersei, Cersei. Okay, so what do you do? I teach of the axiom. Finally, somebody maybe that will tell us (laughs) what the hell is going on here. Teach. Axiom. The whole of the axiom is greater than all its parts. The whole of the axiom is greater than the sum of its parts. Um, okay. You know, I got all excited there. The teachers, you know, we're going to get down to brass tacks, and then I get that. Um, whole. Okay, axiom parts. Can you tell me something about the parts? Oh, the measure of unending love, the limitless courage needed to face all obstacles, the truth which encompasses all things. Okay, Cersei, I was saying, I was doubting you. I was dissing you. I'm taking it back. Because that I, it feels like some actionable intel there. I don't know quite know how we apply it yet. But at least now we're we're getting some a little bit of focus here. So we got the measure of unending love. The limitless courage needed to face all obstacles. The truth which encompasses all things. Okay. I'm really feeling like the answer to this is wisdom. You know, the measure of an ending love, you know, love, unlimited love plus unlimited courage plus unlimited truth. I think wisdom is a good fit for that. So, but we'll see. All right. So, um, hmm. Uh, well, let's just ask her about love, courage. And what was the third one? Truth. All right. I think we got what we needed out of her. Interesting name, Spellbind. All right. What do you do here? I know of the Codex. All right. That sounds very blue collar, straightforward, not going to give me a lot of mystical mumbo jumbo. I have high hopes in you, Spellbind. One must know the combination. Of the three principles of virtue. I I, I feel like we have that given the order that Circe gave us, love, courage, truth. Um, I think that's probably the combination. Time will tell when we get to the when we get to the codex. Interesting. The combination of the three principles of virtue equals the measure of time and space. You know that whole forthright blue collar thing I was talking about? Yeah, I think you just kind of lost that spellbind. Yeah. 
you know, I don't don't really understand what that means. Uh, so that was for combination. Maybe measure time, space. All right. So let's look at this. Now that we have the whole picture. So Shaman said, the one pure axiom is more endless than the changing tides, more eternal than day and night. The one thing that is the secret to the codex. Charm says, studies the one, one pure axiom that encompasses all things. Is there like, a, we, we're going to go back and talk to Charm because most of these people had a secondary comment and i've only got one written down for charms so maybe i missed something there cersei told us that the whole of the axiom is greater than the sum of its parts the measure of an ending love the limitless courage needed to face all obstacles the truth which encompasses all things and then spellbind said one must know the combination of the three principles of virtue the combination of the three principles of virtue equals the measure of time and space it's that last bit that bothers me because I wouldn't necessarily think that either wisdom nor peace equals the measure of time and space. So I don't know. I find that odd. Let's 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 check in with Charm again and make sure that I didn't miss something. So uh, let's see. I'm done with you. I think. Thank you. Charm was this person. Yes. What's your job? I ponder the key of the axiom. Oh, so that was the first thing. I'm pretty sure I didn't ask her what ponder. Nope. Key. To the axiom. Oh, that's right. She was the pedantic one. And then we had axiom. Encompasses all things. Okay, I think I got out of her what I can get. All right, so we've got... We come down out of here. We're at the bottom of the... All right. That was interesting. I don't know that I totally understand it at all. Um, I don't really want to fight... Is that somebody I'm supposed to be able to get to? Oh, I can, but we're going to have to walk through. All right, let's not do that just yet. We have to walk through some swampiness. All right, so on this side of the bridge, we've actually got a building with lava or fire. Oh, the shrine. You meet a shining onk. This is like it, at Hawkwind. At Hawkwind's place, he's, he's, he's got something like this. All right, so let's kind of walk through. I'm going to walk through the principles. Maybe, if I can type. Nothing there. So probably nothing for any of these. Love. Courage. All right, peace. Wisdom. All right, pray. Ankh. Avatar. Codex. Oh, to enter the Codex chamber. Okay. Chamber. One must be eight parts avatar, have the key of three parts, the word of passage, and know the pure axiom. I mean, I know I have this in riddles. I may actually end up pulling all this stuff out and putting it, put it on a separate page just for Cove. All right, so eight parts avatar, we'll get back to that pretty quick here. Have the key of three parts. Well, we know um, 
we know one of the parts. We know that courage is the third part. Uh, the word of passage, which we just learned, uh, we have to learn from the people that are the kings of the castle, wherever I wrote that, I wrote that someplace here, and know the pure axiom, which I am assuming is wisdom, I guess. <laughs> All right, so... Let's see what, let's see. Can you tell me anything about the key? It's the candle that we're supposed to find here. All right. Um, can you tell me anything about the axiom? I have the key of three parts. Passage. Okay, so that's that, that's our shopping list. A parts avatar, key of three parts, which I knew we need the key. The word of passage, which I don't think I knew, and know the pure axiom. I'm hoping we still get another clue about the pure axiom here. I mean, we can always guess, I guess. I mean, that seems dangerous. There is... All right, I think we're going to take a little damage here. Everybody's, yeah, everybody's pretty good on health. This must be fire, but we have a secret room here, and I'm going to have to walk through this fire, and then we'll have to walk back out of the fire, so. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, all right. Oh, the candle of love! Excellent! Excellent! Oh, I love Cove. This place is just it's killing it. It's giving me everything I need. All right. Candle of love. Where the heck do I have that stuff? Um, someplace here I am. The castles. Yes. So we have the candle. Secret place off of Lock Lake. Yes, that was Cove. We know that. Boom. So now we just need to, we need to know the part of the key. We need to know the part of the key. That's that's the piece we're missing. That's the piece we're missing. Okay. Beauteous. All right. Just for chuckles, I'm going to search here, and I'm going to search here, and I'm going to search here. I'm not quite sure why there was slow progress there. Okay. So, excellent. Um, actually, let's go back to the notes real quick. And let's go to our lock like page. So... We've got the candle of love. Boom. We got the information we needed from Zayer the Wise, or the brother of Zayer the Wise, about the word of passage. So I guess we did know the, about the word of passage. We just didn't know what it was. And we've got the gate travel spell. So that, actually, that one we can close off. So that was everything that was on my little, my little to-do list for Cove. We've done it all. All right, we're going to still, there's, I think, some some nooks and crannies here that we haven't seen yet. Now, that's the edge of the town. Oh, there's another there's another building down here. A healer. Okay. Kind of handy, considering that you had to walk through fire or lava to get to um, the candle. He says, I am Paul, a strangely familiar bard. Okay, what's your job? I play of love. Wilt thou listen? I'm going to call it. I'm feeling a Beatles song coming on. We'll see if I'm right. About love. Okay, I expected to hear a song. Or love. I light a candle to our love and love our problems disappear. Okay, that's not... That's not uh, not the Beatles. Candle. Uh, problems. I guess he's just he's providing. But <clears throat> oh, okay, here we go. But all in all, we soon discover that one in one is all we long to hear. Okay, I don't know that I necessarily follow. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's still talking about love. It's just traditionally, you know, one plus one equals two. You know, okay. Uh, here. All right. Thank you. Um, actually, let's... Word. I am really hoping that when we get the parts of the... Um, of the word of passage, you know, they say things like the first part of the word of passage is, you know, Linda, a singer. Okay. So your job is singing. I sing of the children. Interesting. Children all around the world. The little children, little children being born to the world. Okay, that's a true statement pretty much any time. Got to give them all we can till the quest is won, then the work be done. Well, that's what I'm doing. I'm on the quest. Teach them the songs of joy. Songs of joy? <laughs> Joy! This is the land of wisdom and peace, and we're talking joy? What the bloody hell? Quit throwing principles in here. Ah, uh, okay. Joy? Wisdom? Peace? All right. All right. We need to get over there to that guy, but we gotta walk through poison swamp for that. So we're gonna we're gonna pause that for a moment. We're gonna get to that pretty quick because we're running out of things here. Mystical Wizard, what is your name, sir? Merlin. Oh. What is your job? I use magic. Okay, that's fair. Dost thou study magic? Yes, I do. Best of luck with thy studies. Study. Magic. Axiom. Wisdom. Joy. Key. Pass a word. You know, I expected more than small talk from Merlin. You know? You know, just saying. So, um, so that guy's on that island there. Now, there's not a way there. No, there's not a way there from here. Because we got this mountainous terrain that's blocking it. Yep, okay. I really don't want to tangle with that... With that um, seahorse if I don't have to but we can kill seahorses all right here's somebody i am draconian why does that name sound familiar job i teach the relation i'm gonna say no because i have no idea what this guy is talking about learn the towns and castles I mean, is that talking about the relationship of the of the eight virtues and the principles to go with them? And now we're we're adding more more principles in this place. Okay. I want to. I don't know that I talked to that druid that's over there across the water. Let's just look and see if I did. An old druid? I don't think I did. What's your name? Oh, that's the air guy. All right. And what's up here? Anything? Anything of interest? We talked to that wizard. So we don't need to talk to him again. So to go see this guy. And we talked to that. We talked to these four people. Uh, so... All right, Julie, just hang tight because we got to go back through 
anyway. An old hermit. What's your name? Slavin. Not a great name, dude. Job. I am a recluse, which would be why you're here on this little spit of land uh, behind a poisonous swamp. Recluse. I have withdrawn from society. Okay, so do you know anything about the axiom? No. The key? No. Word? No. Passage? Too many S's. No. Wisdom? Uh, peace? Joy? You know, I don't know that that was worth getting Julia... Poisoned. And Dupree. All right. So we're going to cure Julia. And then we're going to cure Dupree. Okay. So I think that's everything we can get from here. I mean, we got everything I wanted. We got a bunch more that I don't understand yet, but. I'm assuming at some point it will all be clear, but I am going to let that be that. I will be back in your ear hole soon. We're probably going to head over to Lord British from here and uh, do some um, work on trying to get our avatar hood back. And I think there's something else I need to do over there as well. So, oh, I got to get, oh, plus I've got to, I've got to level up and got to uh, go grab our last, um, uh, our last companion. So we're going to do all that in some order that I haven't quite determined yet, but it will be done. But thank you for watching this one. I do hope you come back for the next. And until then, be seeing you.